That's the Department of Education for you. That's the secretary of the department. Uh, Tom, great to have you. I love your orange-toned tie. Hey. Orange is new black, I heard. Yes, and doesn't, doesn't he look good in orange? <laughs> orange is a new black. <laughs> Come on, it. right here. Okay, and thank next you. to you, Mohammed. Mohammed <laughs> is the president of Silicon Valley Education Foundation. I'm one of the board members uh, there uh, through uh, um, openness, <laughs> open stack, open source. Let's be uh, all uh, transparent here. Uh, I know you well. You were uh, at our event last year as well. So um, we're going to have a quick talk about uh, some of the initiatives at the state level. Yes. And uh, maybe a little bit connotation also to the nation, at the na na nation level, with all these new initiatives around Common Core, no Common Core, new themes. Mm. Please clarify. I know it's not enough time, but I know one thing you do so well, Tom. You are a great communicator. You can tell the message very quickly. And mm. Mohamed, time to that. Uh, um, Talk about SVF, obviously, Silicon Valley Education Foundation, some of the themes. Yeah. And you're doing some work with Wipro, actually, building Absolutely. the next education cloud in San Jose, in yes. the uh, East uh, East Side Junior High, High School yeah, District. Yeah. So let's uh, start with Tom. Sure. High level themes here, open conversation. The big question is here STEM, but it's not only STEM. We're going to talk about workforce, humans are underrated later on. Pepper is going to be here. <laughs> Pepper is not happy with the education system right now, yeah. uh, but he knows that you guys are doing a lot of great things. So, yeah. so Tom, talk to us a little bit about your role. Well, it's really an exciting time in education. I'm elected to oversee the education of six and a quarter million children, and I'm a regent in the UC system and a trustee in the CSU system. And we're articulating and integrating learning in pathways, and, and STEM is a huge emphasis on our work. We're adopting new standards, and you use the word common core. Uh, I like to refer to it as California standards. We're leading the nation in adopting these standards thoughtfully and not with bickering and infighting, which in many other areas has become a political football. It, it, it's really about critical thinking, problem solving. It's the kind of skills that, that you as entrepreneurs, you as leaders in the tech field want to have in graduates coming to uh, get a job in your co company. Good communication skills. We're using computers a lot more. I have an initiative called No Child Left Offline. And it's a one-to-one -one computing goal. Uh, we went to the legislature, got a billion dollars. Uh, they dedicated that for uh, having us invest in the bandwidth and the internet connecting devices and the professional development of the teachers. Another big trend which is connecting students to their future and to the STEM future and to the great tech future that you're talking about here is a career pathways program. We went to the legislature and asked for $500 million. I deployed that. Uh, we're forming partnerships between business leaders and the community colleges and high schools and higher education. So we're, we're getting kids excited about careers in computer sciences, in healthcare, in genetics, uh, you name it, uh, construction. And we're finding that the graduation rate, uh, instead of being low, goes up to 98, 99%. And so we're creating a new capacity in human capital, and it's the beginning of a renaissance in education. The, the, the good news is the economy's recovering, recovered so well, thanks to all of your efforts out here and your colleagues, and that the voters kept Prop 30 in place, which has infused $8 billion of additional money. So we're, we're bringing back art, music, and drama, but it, and science, which had been neglected during the recessionary years. It's so essential, and we're starting down an elementary school as you were just speaking with your previous guest, we want to see kids' excitement and natural enthusiasm about discovering the world and, and learning their inner strengths and talents. We want to see that start. So we're looking at having science specialists come into the elementary schools. Because a lot of the elementary school teachers, they're wonderful, but they don't have a background in STEM. And so we'd have that, that specialist come in and get the kids excited all the way through. And especially when you get to middle school, that's when a lot of the girls drop out keep them supported with programs like Mesa and others to have them have the confidence and to know it's okay to go into a STEM field and be cool. Super. And tying to this now, uh, um, obviously you could, uh, uh, some kind of a brochure in hand. Yes, I wanted to give you this. Uh, we have a blueprint for great schools. It's online, of course. Uh, this is version two. It's like a rocket ship. First phase went up, and now the second phase. I have a copy Super. to give you. Super, I like that. It's a, a real time. It's a road map, or I like to call it a star map, because we're going to get the potential of all of our students uh, actualized, realized, and uh, surge to make each of them a star. And this is version two? This is version two. You are so tech. <laughs> <laughs> version two, version three coming out. <laughs> all right, that, that's awesome. And also open source driven. It's all it's software defined, content. right? But speaking <laughs> of that, 
Yeah. Uh, uh, tying that, to, uh, what you're doing, obviously, Tom, to Mohamed. Mohamed, you've been in this for a long time. You're one of the uh, uh, most enjoyable speakers about this topic. STEM is a big deal for Silicon Valley Education yeah. Foundation. You have a big event coming up every year, Q4, uh, in San Jose, mostly yeah. around the uh, uh, pioneers and, and purpose. And purpose. Yeah. Um, uh, you raise a lot of funds for uh, um, school districts which are in need. That's yeah. a big deal. Um, talk about the uh, foundation a little bit very quickly and talk about tying to what Tom just talked about, the STEM and some of your initiatives like the Education Cloud with Wipro, right. you guys are working on the east side. Yep. So at Silicon Valley Education Foundation, we're obsessed with preparing students for college and careers. And first of all, I want to thank you, Tarkin, because it takes the business community to understand the challenges and how they can be most supportive. And to have, um, Tom and I go to a lot of education events, but to be at a tech event, an open SDX event, and talk about education and connect the two dots. So hats off to you. So thank you for connecting the dots and, and, making, and making it, making it uh, uh, important enough to, to, to put it on stage. Um, you know, to give you context of California, California was not always doing great in education. Um, and there, a lot of credit goes to our governor, our, our state superintendent, um, and our state president of the Board of Education, Mike Kirst, who also serves on our board as well. They have, over the past five years, they've done a phenomenal job of turning around California as a model for the country, not a laughing stock in the education system. So they've done just a great job in setting the context, whether it's the Common Core, whether it's the local control funding formula, whether it's focusing on the right things at the right times with money as well as reform to make sure that we have the best possible education for our students. Bringing that into Silicon Valley, um, we still have over 50 school districts in Silicon Valley, over 350,000 students, which is larger than 17 states, which is larger than New Mexico, if you will. So lots of students that need service. So um, in the Silicon Valley Education Foundation's innovation space, we're doing three things to bring technology into the classroom. To give you a little bit of a context, think of a classroom. If there were 30 people in a classroom today, in the traditional classroom, and you were number one and Tom was number 30. Well, maybe Tom was number one and you were number 30 that's, that's in, in, that, in, that classroom, uh, in that classroom. I, as a teacher, would be teaching to number 16. Tom would be bored, you would be lost. So how do we leverage technology to change that in the classroom? And one, we work with Nexenta and, and lots of great partners to say, how do we bring funding into the school? So we've got $118 million approved in one school district called Eastside Union High School District. Stop there for one second, you're amazing. Yeah. I just want to make sure that everybody gets this right. This is a very underfunded space in, yeah. in, 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 in both state and local federal government. You raised how much? $118 million, and that goes back to what Tom did when he was a legislator, <laughs> because bond dollars get approval at a 55% rate. Right? This is inside baseball versus a two-thirds approval, so at 55% for one school district with 25,000 students, but lot larger influence. Um, and there's lots of business leaders involved to say, let's raise, let's raise uh, dollars to support education. Second thing we did was we worked with lots of business leaders, including Wipro, including Nexenta, including PwC, to say, what does that stack look like? What does the technology look like? Right now, uh, having 30 kids watch video uh, on certain schools in Silicon Valley, the wireless system crashes. I mean, there's lots of challenges. And in some schools, you don't even have a wireless system exactly, itself, exactly, right? And exactly. one key thing, I just want to make sure that the audience gets it. There are a lot of CEOs. Yeah. Uh, there are a lot of IPOs going on here. A lot of you know, Ferraris outside. I have a Prius. Yeah. I have an orange yeah. Prius. <laughs> I'm happy with my orange Prius. Um, so people don't make a lot of money. And they think in education, oh, I don't make money in education space. Let me focus on banks and all these big glorious companies. Right. But they don't realize you guys actually have money, not necessarily maybe in the budget, but you have ways to improve, uh, uh, so to speak, the continuum, how to deploy this technology. People think you're a charity. People think that you just need money from them to do things. Right. Actually, you're a great customer. Right. And there are some competitors in the room. I invite them. Right. We want to impr impress them with the orangeness here. Right. We're going to bring them to the Jedi Force that yeah. is still in the dark side. <laughs> there are some, some of them are going to be on the yeah. stage later on. Okay. Um, we're trying to bring them like, from the dark side. Again. Right. Um, right. The key thing is here, we're not just doing this for charity. We're making tons of money as Nexenta and Wipro and other vendors working with you because at the end of the day, more digitization means more storage for us to sell more to you. But 
you lower your costs with this end-to-end -end system, well, exactly, and you make money out of that, right? And that's exactly yeah. technology, and we're never going to eliminate the teacher. I think we're right. gonna, the, the value of the teacher is going to increase. So it's not about decreasing teachers in any way, right. but what technology will do now uh, is to raise the bar to have more data. I mean, I, we should be able to know that someone's going to raise their hand in the audience before they raise it, and that's where technology can right. help. So at Eastside Union High School District, we're working with Wipro and Accenta others to make sure that we have a, we have a reference design, we have the right stack, we have all the right stuff and a model um, uh, to build. Once that's built in East Side, remember there's 1,100 school districts in California, 10,000 in, in the United States of America that could be your customers to make sure that our, we increase student achievement. It's not about technology for us, it's about increasing student achievement and this will actually do that. My COO, Phil Underwood, is in the back. His quota is increasing right now. His Good. quota is increasing <laughs> right now. Um, so this is K-12 mostly. Yeah, right. Tom, K-12 is only one piece of your uh, 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 vision, correct? Correct. Higher education is part of your yeah. public instruction. So talk about the higher education side. How is that moving right now? We're hearing a lot of things going on in the UC system. You remember Janet Napolitano, the president of yes. UC system, was here last year. Uh, uh, he made a lot of fun of my, my orange uh, um, <laughs> last year, so we didn't invite her back. Instead, we invited you. I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> on the higher education side of things, how are they shaping up? How are the things are shaping up for that? Well, all of education needs investment, sure. as you know, and you put your money in and, and invest it wisely, you get great results. The University of California system is still stellar, it's in the tops in the <coughs> world in terms of you know, UCLA, Berkeley, Davis, San Francisco, it's just an incredible system of great uh, California universities. And the CSU system is a strong system, it's one of the biggest, 23 campuses, in, in biggest systems in the United States with about 450,000 students. So they, in my opinion, haven't had the, the ample investment from the legislature that they should have, and so that's a push for us all to work on, to have the legislator and the governor look at more investment in, yes, let's modernize, let's streamline, let's consolidate, let's specialize, and so there are some changes and reforms. The governor's keenly interested in this area as well, and, and so big is is articulating so that coursework you take in high school matches what the coursework is and the professors want to see in math or English language arts or science when they get to the community college and when they get to the higher education. And so we've deployed this 500 million in grants of 5 million, 10 million, and 15 million to form consortia across the state that are looking at this articulation and lining up coursework and getting kids again excited about their future, whether again it's medical sciences or computer sciences, uh, and that's, that's a key element. The other thing we've done that sort of ties in and gives, gives higher ed more data to, to, to look at how they can retool some of their ways to, and high schools to retool their ways, we have a new assessment system. Instead of the old paper pencil bubble test, uh, we are now doing two, computer adaptive. So we just finished doing 3.2 million students taking this new assessment, which judges right where that student is and can the teacher can tailor her or his lessons right to where that student needs more But the need is for that specific school, student. Yeah. And for readiness for the universities. And so student is, defined education. Yeah. There's three, yeah. Yeah. And just to give you an example of the normative of what we did, without much of a glitch at all, we, we did this assessment. Only 900 students out of 3.2 million could not take the test because they didn't have access to the internet. We did a lot of last mile closure linking, and so we're in the new computer age and individualized learning, data feedback, ways to analyze the data to improve instruction. Uh, it's going to articulate as a strength, a wave of success right up to the university. I'm sorry, just to mention, Tom, executing this, there's lots of other states that blew this. Lots of other states. That so have we been, have to lead this. We, and, yeah, and Tom has done a great job in, in making sure we're a leader in the country in, in executing on this. So on that note, speed date style, we're moving faster. Just key thing. I mean, uh, give me an like audience a call to action. And by the way, this is being obviously shared through the uh, web. Uh, it's not only this audience here, uh, a lot of folks are listening to this uh, via the web. Give us a, maybe one or two call to actions, calls to actions. You know, like, let the people know, come to this website, do X, Y, Z. Uh, let's start uh, with you, Mohamed, just uh, for the audience uh, listening to this, what can they do? So join us, join us at svf.com. 
join us by call by emailing SPF, Tarkin let's say, S Silicon Valley, Valley Education, Education Foundation, Foundation yeah. um, or email Tarkin and he'll he'll get you to the right information but but the real Thank idea the, the real idea is engage in the education system we're doing lots of things that we're pioneering in Silicon Valley for the rest of the country rest of the world come join us come join us at Pioneers and Purpose our annual event where we showcase what works in education and business leaders who have a purpose with education and thirdly come come see what we're doing in East San Jose with with, uh, with Wipro, with Next Center, and others, because that's going to be a model for the country. Super. And call to action, maybe? Call too? to action, yes. Stay involved like this in the partnerships. Mohammed mentioned many great partnerships between the private sector and the public sector, the public education system that you've pioneered in Silicon Valley. But we need that statewide. I mentioned the, the 500 million that we've deployed across these grants. With that has come. Uh, 5,000 businesses that have said, I'll provide a mentorship, I'll provide an internship. And that does two things. They, they, they're training, bringing in a future workforce into their businesses that will be reliable and, and known, and those students get excited about those career pathways. The other thing is to be, you know, advocate through your tech organizations and through conferences like this for more investment by the legislature in higher education and in K-12 education. So is we, there a website for this they yes, can download? It's, it's, what is the website? Yeah, California Department of Education. Just th those three words and it'll pop up. You can find it. Okay, yeah. awesome. Thank you both. You guys are amazing. By the way, you guys look so great. You guys make me look like, uh, I'm not going to say it what like, but you guys like But well, we still models. want your shoes. We still, we look, still, we weren't offered yet. Everybody coming to this event is going to get shoes. That's awesome. We always do it and you guys are going to get, I'm going to hand deliver. <laughs> uh, so thank you for being part of this. We're, we're going to think orange. Orange is black. Orange is <laughs> black. So thank you, Mohamed. Thank you, Tom. Really thank appreciate you. it. Thank thank you. Pleasure. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you. So the key takeaway is here, um, people, special tech people, they are so cool, they think they're gonna make a lot of money. This is not a charity. Nexenda makes a lot of money in education space with K-12, not only with colleges. We have about 6,000 enterprise customers, about 2,000 of them are all school districts and, and universities like UC system. UC Davis makes us more money than Goldman Sachs does. I know Goldman Sachs is in the room. You have an opportunity in Goldman Sachs. Um, so my point to you is, this is not charity, it's a public-private partnership. We're gonna talk about this in a panel later on in the afternoon. We're gonna have a CU Denver here, uh, University of Colorado Denver, uh, College of Engineering. San Jose State University is gonna be here. It's not all about, by the way, Berkeley and Stanford and MIT either. Um, it's a lot of state schools doing great things. Actually, someone was telling me, uh, I know there are Stanford people, Joe Little, you're here, you're gonna get upset with me, but um, Stanford creates a lot of VCs, San Jose State creates a lot of engineers running your company. So that's a good, we need both of them. And there are some VCs in the room, uh, all Stanford, I know, but there are a lot of people who are running these amazing companies, OpenStack Innovation, all comes from these engineering schools. So we have to make sure all those things clearly understood and clearly understand that these people are great customers to us, not just a partner. So thank you, Tom, thank you, Mohammed, for being here. Thank you for paying my bills. I bought my Prius with the money I made with you. So um, it was cheap. So on that note, very quick.